how I put my rhinestones on my nails for a very long lasting effects. So the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to use a builder gel. I'm going to cover the entire nail in builder. Builder gel is just a really hard gel. It gives the nail some strength. I usually only do this on my press on nails. If I'm not using acrylic, so you're going to cover the entire nail, make sure it's nice and smooth. You don't want to use a very thick or thin layer, just, you know, a medium layer. Then you're going to place your rhinestones. Make sure they are exactly where you want them because once this is cured, they will not budge. Now the second one, I'm going to use Dipped in Pretty Clear Poly Gel. This is my go-to, my absolute 100% favorite, die hard, all that. You're going to take the very slightest amount of poly gel, just about this much. Put that right onto the nail. You don't have to make sure it's all smooth and pretty and all that. Because we are going to fix that with some top coat. So just smear that on there. Take your top coat. Go right over all of that. That's actually going to make it look like it's not there. And it's going to smooth it out just a tad bit. Now you take your rhinestones, put them on. Now, once you're putting them on here, you want to make sure once the rhinestone is on there, you apply just a tad bit of pressure so that it sinks into the poly gel. Once you're done adding your rhinestones, pop that into the lamp. Now this third one I'm going to use again, Dipped in Pretties, Make It Last Forever Diamond Gel. This thing used to be the best until I noticed that when you do a full nail, with or without top coat, it's going to shift. I'm not a fan of shifting. I like my work straight. So the diamonds do stay on forever, but they do tend to shift if you're not working fast enough. I don't rush my work, so I don't work as fast as others. If you're a fast worker, it may work perfect for you, but not for me. So you're going to place it on the nail, cover it in top coat. This is completely optional. The top coat is completely optional, but I like to do that to make sure that I don't have to go over everything in top coat. I'm going to place the nails right where I put the glue and pop that into the lamp. Now we're taking it back in the day before all this rhinestone glue and builder gel and all that was even a thing. Take just a tad bit, the smallest little dot of nail glue, place it onto the nail where you want to put the rhinestone. Place the rhinestone, do not push it down, it's going to smear the glue everywhere. I'm going to take the tip of this glue, smear the rest of the excess glue around so I can add more rhinestones without adding more glue. Place that on there, move your rhinestones, you got to work fast with this one. Move your rhinestone, set it down to air dry. Now this last one I'm gonna do, it's like a temporary fix, is when you go to the big nail salons and they're trying to hurry up and get you out. This is only gonna last you three to four days, maybe. Um, 
even less if you're like a mom or you work a lot you use your hands a lot i'm just going to cover this nail and top coat add my rhinestones and cure it again this is only temporary this will not last a long time it's going to stay it's going to look beautiful it's going to look sleek but it's just not going to last a long time whatsoever okay so this is that first nail that we did in all builder gel it cured i took it out of the lamp cleaning it with some alcohol i'm going to go over it in some top coat and pop that back into the lamp So with this nail, as you can see, the rhinestone shifted to the right just a little bit, which is what I was telling you all about earlier. Now that this nail is dry, we're going to take our top coat. We're going to go over and around the rhinestones. Again, when you go over the rhinestones, you want to use the very light hand so that you don't have a bulk of gel polish all on and around your rhinestones. that's it for today thank you so much for watching my video make sure you like comment and subscribe and let me know if there's anything else that you guys want to see on this channel